Hey, what's going on guys? This is Saber and I am bringing you guys a new tutorial. Some of you guys have been wanting to know how to sync and add a basic color crush onto Sony Vegas. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. My personal way and how I like to edit with Sony whenever I do. So, um, I already have uh, the clip and the song inside here. So basically what we're going to do is every time when you import your uh, your clips, Make sure you always disable the resample and the reduce interlace flicker. It gives off, uh, you know, so it doesn't look that ugly. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and remove the original audio layer from the clip. So we're going to go ahead and press U. And as you can see, this is the original audio layer, and here's the video layer of the clip. So we're going to go ahead and delete the audio layer. And we're just going to mute the, the video layer for now. And we're going to find the points of what the part I want to sync. For me, it will be somewhere around here. So we're going to press S to split it wherever you want to start this on. I'm going to delete that. And we're going to go ahead and drag this in anywhere like this. And we're just going to do a little fade on it. You know, nothing that much. And we're going to sync up the points, basically. So let's do it. Okay, so for me on this song, it's this part right here. We're going to press M. And it's going to create a um, a little yellow marker. And that's going to show you where the synced parts are going to be. So basically, for the parts you actually want to sync is either the starting of a chorus, the drumming parts, like the snare. Or, um, you know, that, those are basically two things I like to sync to is the snare and the chorus. So, we got this part here. We got the second part right here. Right here. I'm going to press M. And then right here. I'm going to press M. So, now we have these three markers. Now, we can unmute this. And click on the marker and just go through your clip and see where you end up shooting. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just right here, somewhere, oh, what am I doing? Okay. As soon as you see this bullet, or you can do, just look on the, the clip and you see that bullet disappear. Um, if you're editing Black Ops 2 and you want to sync, it's kind of, it's a little hard to, uh, sync it because as soon as you shoot, like, the, the clip doesn't, like, register right away, so it takes a little bit, but, yeah. So we'll just go ahead and add Fade Up to this as well. Okay. So now, we have this synced part. And now we're gonna go ahead and sync the other shot. So we're gonna split it. And we're going to go to the part where you shoot next, which is right here. Split that again. And sp we're going to speed this little part up. And if you don't know how to speed it up, um, you grab the edge of the clip right here. You press and hold control and you just drag it in and it speeds it up. You do the opposite way, it slows it down. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to speed it up so, you know, we can easily sync them. It'll be right here. We're going to go ahead and ram preview it right after when we're done this. So, once again, go to the part where it shoots, right here. Split it. And... Do this, and we can add. We can slow this part down a little bit. Slow it down. Okay, so we're gonna ramp preview it, and so just usually what I do, I double click on the sun, and as you can see, it brings up these this blue layer, 
that's basically the region point that you're going to RAM preview. So you're going to go ahead and press Shift and B. And it's going to go ahead and RAM preview it. Uh, so everything comes up clear and it doesn't lag for you. So, yeah. So this is what the preview looks like. <laughs> That's basically uh, that's basically for the little sinking part. Now we're gonna go ahead and import the intervention shots. So I'm gonna go on my desktop and try to find it here. Um, the intervention shots you can basically find them anywhere. You just go ahead, probably search around on YouTube, uh, search up you know uh, Call of Duty gunshot sounds or gun sounds, and you know a couple of videos come out with download links. And we're gonna go ahead and turn up this intervention shot so you can hear it. So uh, basically just line it up next to the, the yellow marker, copy and paste it again to the next three or next two and just preview it. And uh, you have your sync, you have your syncing all basically done. So let's just check it out. What I like to do on the last shot is right after it goes, we're going to split it and we're going to slow it down a little bit. So if you guys if you guys ever slowed your stuff down in Sony Vegas, uh, the sound will come out really extremely ugly. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna listen to it. So you know how it sounds like that. We don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and right click on properties on the audio that you slowed down, and we're gonna go ahead and click lock to stretch. And we're gonna press OK, and now just listen to it. And we're going to go ahead and mute this layer. That's really cool. It sounds really sick. So, um, that's basically it for the syncing. Basic color correction. Some of you guys might not have this. Um, well, I'll give you it anyway. Um, so we're going to go over to video effects and we're going to go ahead and go on color corrector secondary and we're going to go studio RGB to computer RGB and we're going to go ahead and drag that right onto the, the timeline, um, the video layer, as you can see, it has, uh, keyframes here and whatever video you put on this timeline, the video layer, it's going to have the color correction on it immediately. Also, some of you guys might notice, uh, go to your properties as well and just make sure all your properties are all set, you know, um, 59.94, audio, you know, best, and then, yeah, um, basically, uh, color curves, uh, just go ahead and copy this down again, or you can copy these down, you know, wait, I'm just not gonna sit here for a bit. You guys can pause the video and try to copy them. And we're going to go ahead again and we're going to go to saturation adjust. I have a preset called I reaps and it brings up more of the color. It looks really nice. Once again, copy this down. And last thing is add a little bit of sharpen so when you add the sharpen don't mess around with it just go to reset uh, reset to none and just drag it onto there and it bumps up the quality just a tiny bit more so you don't really need to mess around with it if you go to preview audio it's, it's gonna look kind of kind of weird but it gives off really really good quality so hopefully if we ran preview this and it doesn't take forever, you guys can actually see what the actual quality looks like, um, basically. So we're just going to go ahead and just uh, let this load up, our RAM preview. So that's basically all, well, that's all I previewed, but uh, we're going to go ahead and just go to auto. Um, that's, so that's basically it for the basics on Sony Vegas. Um, titles, kind of self-explanatory as well. Just pick a good font, you know, whatever. Fade it in and out. That's basically it. Um, if you guys have any more tutorials you guys would like to learn, make sure you uh, 
hit me up for the tutorials because I'm always down to make tutorials for you guys. So here is the final project. And you might want to do is just add a little fade at the end here. Same with the sun. Now we can go ahead. Oh, what the hell did I do? What did I do here? What? Okay, well, <laughs> I I messed up somehow. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, save you guys, and I'm out. Peace.